Hey y'all, you know me by now. I have some like crazy ideas that go through my head and this was one of them. I wanted to do something like the 70s disco floor with the photos and the colors. And this is what I came up with. For this project, we're using a video format. So the first thing you wanna go and grab is you wanna go into your elements and go down to your frames and grab a square. So once I grab that square, I'm gonna make it small. I'm gonna duplicate it. So I want a four by five. So I want four down and I want five across. So don't worry about your sizing for the moment because Canva's new feature where you can kind of like just grab everything and size it all at once is awesome. And we'll just do that afterwards. So just, we just wanna get our base going. So I wanna get those lined up like so. And then I'm gonna duplicate it and make my first line. And then I'm going to, if you hear me say bump, I'm using my arrow keys just to find, I can kind of see a little hair of a line in between these. So I'm just giving it one tap up. And usually I do this on a black background, so that'll help out too. So it, if you do have a finite line in between them, it'll be okay. So you just want to take those. And then once you get them where you like them, you're going to take all of them, highlight them and group them together. Then you're going to duplicate and then you're going to go and line them up for your next set like so and once they look good it throws you off a little bit because of the wave right there but once that looks good i'm going to group that one and then i'm going to duplicate it it's just easier to make it grow instead of do one line at a time and then once that's lined up and looks well I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into position just for safety. I'm going to duplicate this page one more time. This page, not the page, this little batch of frames right here. And I only wanted five, so I'm going to ungroup this set right here. So at this set, I'm going to ungroup it. And then I'm going to highlight this last row. I'm going to try to highlight this last row. What is Canva acting weird on me today? Let me bump out of that page and bump back. I'm going to highlight this last row and I'm going to delete it. Now I'm going to group everything together. I'm going to group it together and then I am going to expand. I'm going to lower this down here and I'm going to contract and now I have all the photos, all my stuff lined up the way I want it. So now I have my disco board. What you're going to want to do now is you can either do your photos or your colors first. It's not going to matter. So we'll just go and do the colors first. So I'm going to go in here and for ease, I am just going to start grabbing these right here. I'm just going to grab the gradients to make my disco floor. If you want to put some like, uh, you want to do all colors, throw a uh, black one in there now and again to kind of like look like spaces out on the floor you could do that but I am just gonna just for ease and fastness I'm just gonna grab these pre-made gradients and we'll just go through and do another round like so pick your colors however you want to do them so now I have my colors. so what I want to do now so I'm going to go in a position. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to duplicate this. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my picture. So I'm going to go into elements. I'm going to go to recently used. I think I used all like beauty products for that one. And on my duplicate one, I'm going to go and fill those frames with those pictures. So I'm going to go and grab all these pictures and throw them into my frames. Da, 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 da. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And if you have, um, oh, we don't want that one. I did that one by accident. That was a pro one. I grabbed it. I didn't see that little uh, crown right there. So we're just going to grab all these. I might have missed some. So let's go back at the top so they're not all this all the same close to each other here. Let's grab some one different color at once. And we'll just do that. And if you want to do something spicy or something like that and put a frame in here, like earlier I was kind of experimenting. Let's see. 
Like you could do something like this if you wanted to. And if you're doing like products or something and you wanted to and like have a photo or something with your logo or something right there, that'd be cool too. And have like the color, those bopping around. But that's for another, that's for another project. So what I would do is keep one of these at the beginning and you'll see why in a minute. So what I want to do is I want to duplicate this page. Once I duplicate it, what you're going to do is click on random ones and you're going to take the transparency down on them. You do as many or as little as you like, space them all around. And then when you get it the way, I think I want one over here. Then you get it the way you want. What you want to do is grab this first one, duplicate it and bring it around the back. Cause it's just easier that way than if you duplicated the, this one that you just worked on, you'd have to put all the transparencies back up and change, change it around. Now you can do that if you want to, but I just found that it's easier if you just keep a full one in the front. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to go through and do the same thing. You're just going to go pick random ones out. Oh, not that way. Y'all we're going to go and pick random ones out and just go and take the transparency down. I'm not paying attention, so I might do doubles of the same ones. And I'm not really meaning to. But we're just doing this to show technique. And then when I'm done with that one, I am going to duplicate the page, the first page, bring that around to the end. And we're just going to keep doing that like so. And if you don't want to do a bunch of pages like this, do, I would say, I would say do maybe three, four, five. How many you ever want? How many you want to? Uh, let's do one down here. And then once you make as many as you want, what you can do now, I'm going to delete it. So now I've got, say I have, I'm going to get rid of this too, this page. Oh, what am Oops, girlfriend, what are you doing? Let's uh, delete this. Delete. So say I have like four or five of these are uh, set up. What I want to do now is I'm going to click my first page. I'm going to hit control A. See all of these are highlighted now. And then I'm going to hit control D. Control D, control D, control D as many times as you want to, to make this go as much as you want it to go. If you want it like five seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, so now what I want to do is I want to go hit my transition here. Go to match and move. You know how I am. Match and move all the way up. Apply it between all pages. And then we're going to set our duration down. Now I did these pretty quickly. So I would go below a second. Let's see where it takes us. One second. We want it less than one a second. How about 0.3? That sounds good. We'll do 0.3. And I'm going to click this back and forth till they all look like they look at 0.3. I got a 0.4 in there. Let's do it one more time. Now they're all at 0.3. So now let's watch and see what we got. So now you just have a cool disco floor. And if you want to go like crazy, you can, you can do one, two, three, four, five, and have them kind of go around in a circle and then fill up that way. I think that would be kind of cool, like start here and then have them going around like that. But it was just a kind of neat little effect. And if you don't want to do the colors and you just want to do like black or white, you can do the same thing. Um, if you just want to do like a solid background in the back instead of different colors, I would just do the top layer that's nothing but the pictures and just do the transparency on each each one so i would just go and make that transparent just work on the transparency on that so to see to show you that real quick i'm going to take this last slide here so we would just make let's take this we would just take this whole thing let's go in the position grab the colored the one that's colored and delete that and then you could do something with a solid color like this and do the same thing. And you would only need this first one with the pictures. And all you would do 
with that is just change the transparency on them if you didn't want to go with all the crazy colors. And that would be just like an easy little cool thing to do. And that's how you do this little brain fart of mine. Thank you for stopping by. I hope this is cool. It was kind of fun to make regardless. Something different. And I'm old. So little disco was playing in my head. And I said, hey, let's make something disco. So that was my little disco moment. Thank you for stopping by. I love you guys. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.